couple of people that have said this. I'm going to come out and say it just like this. One female said, I was born and raised in Portland and I still live there and I'm in my mid-30s. And I have known since about five or six that that doctor loved boys. Morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. Listen, the baby is sleeping. So I really want to say, it's the freaking weekend, baby. But I can't say it loud. You know, like when I'm in the car and I'm heading to work and I would say it loud. I can't say it loud like that this morning, but you feel the energy, right? Oh, if you like my shirt, this is one of my own shirts from my channel or from, yes, from SoFlo TV. But I haven't put these merchandise back up yet and I will soon and they will be there for you to get them. So anyway, people, <clears throat> big up to all my people going out to work this morning, all the people coming in from work. Big up to the people that my work, two jobs to make ends meet. Big up to the stay-at-home moms, my entrepreneurs, stay-at-home dads. Big up to every single person out there. Big up to my retirees. All right, you lead the way, you set the example, and we too shall do the same so we can arrive at a place where we just kick back and chill like that. Yeah, but listen, in fine Jamaican style, I have a Tory figuno, you see? Listen, stay, this is, how should I say it now? I like to use stories to make points. Like, be careful of the life that you live because what's done in the dark usually comes out to light. Be careful of karma. Be careful of who you invite into your circle. All these kind of things tie right into the story. Now, I recently did a story where I talked about an MP from Portland that was killed in Jamaica, right? And we know he was killed because the man gets stabbed up. Blood trails leading from bathroom to bedroom. He was found naked. That was my alarm going off. And I wake up so early that I normally wake up before my alarm. All right. He was found with the shower still running, all this other stuff, but naked. I have gotten multiple. I have gotten multiple voicemails. People are saying. <sighs> Pardon me. People are saying, SoFlo, don't use my voice, please, because Portland is small and everybody know everybody here. They can probably listen to a voicemail and tell who that is. And me not want in the mix-up. There's a couple of people that have actually said it under the video, which I will link to the back of this video so you can go watch that when it first happened. There are a couple, okay? Remember when it happened, I said, okay, is a man of... 56 years old and has no wife no children lives alone in a big house pretty much with and him have gardener him have helper but he has no children no wife no nothing with like what's the story behind that well the people started talking someone else said the lady said she known since she was like five or six that was the talk and as she grew older she realized that it was true i've gotten calls and voice notes from males that say stuff like, listen, everybody know, me know from me about three, four, five, is a man will put argument to you, but if you're not into that lifestyle, then you just dead the argument there with him, but he's actually a good person, a kind, loving person, and I knew that he was that way in light boys from before it was even acceptable in Jamaica. Because you know, so now in Jamaica, it's not a big deal. You go to Jamaica, you see men walking around very girly and doing them thing, right? And then you have the LGBTQ power and all this other stuff. So, J Flag and Ray Ray Ray. So, back, it's not like back in the day where it was tab taboo. And if them find out, you know, if you run for your life and all these things, it's different now. It's very different now. So, check it. I wanted to know certain things about the details of this case, like how many stab wounds and so on. It came out that it was 20 times. Somebody else said, Soflo is a homosexual issue, this. You understand? It's a homosexual affair that I go on and something gone wrong. In lifestyle, catch up to him. Another person said, trust me, it's a Batman do it to him. Even if 
Say for instance, other politicians wanted him dead or this is a political hit or whatever. Is like, boy, them sending, they go do it. And the boy was able to catch him at his most vulnerable stage after they were done doing what they were doing. Because remember, the doctor was found butt naked. The shower was still running. Trail of blood from the bathroom to the bedroom. That's how the scene was described. And now they're saying it was 20 plus stab wounds. This is a passionate stabbing. Right? All right. So for those of you who are not familiar with the story, senior detective are probing the killing of two-term member of parliament MP for Eastern Portland, Dr. Linva Bloomfield, who reportedly, who reportedly following strong leads, a bloodied black vest was recovered along a pathway about 200 meters from the MP house where his body was discovered on Saturday, was sent to forensic lab for testing. Additionally, investigators are trying to locate his main cell phone, which is also missing. Another phone belonging to the MP was recovered at the house, along with items such as jewelry, etc., money, whatever, whatever. You saw me, I said? No jewelry was taken, no money was taken. Even when I'm cell phone them was left there. This is no robbery. And remember, the gardener said when he came to the house to cut the lawn, he noticed the grill was open and the door to the house was open. He thought nothing of it. Even though that's not something that normally, it's normally done like that. The major investigation division, MID, which is conducting the top level probe into the murder of is tight lipped about the investigation so far. Investigators have theorized that Bloomfield may have been killed about 1 a.m. on Saturday. So for those of us who were saying, no, nah, I'm suspicious, I'm looking at the gardener. Well, 1 a.m., that's after midnight, then 1 a.m., the gardener didn't get there till daylight afternoon time when he came through and said he saw the grill and the thing open so this is a late night affair kind of thing that was going on now you know tests can be done to show when what around what time a murder took place or a killing took place or a body died and rigor mortis had set in etc 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 so time of death is easy to establish to a forensic a properly trained forensic scientist all right, Bloomfield's nude body, no clothes on, was discovered in his bedroom with more than 20 stab wounds in his Paisley Garden Portland home. His helper and gardener who stumbled upon the bloody scene shortly after 10 a.m. said that they observed traces of blood leading from the bathroom to the bedroom. That's how the story went. Now, a lot of people are saying stuff that Meanwhile, Hope Henry, a former employee and patient of Bloomfield, is finding it hard to cope with the loss because Rennie, who, used, who worked as a janitor at the City Plaza Pharmacy, which was once operated by Bloomfield, was tearful when he spoke to Bloomfield in Port Antonio yesterday. He said that I am still in shock because that's the best man he's ever been to be senselessly murdered she said, trying to process the medical doctor's demise. He was a kind and polite gentleman who saw to the needs of his patients. I have a chronic illness which he treats almost every week and now I don't know where I'm going to find a doctor that is that helpful and kind to explain the ins and outs of my illness to me. I developed a special kind of relationship with him and he always took time out to explain to me the nature of my illness. Many, like myself, are at a loss right now as to how to pick up the pieces and move on. We have lost a great doctor and a political leader. He was well loved by all. He has definitely left a void in East Portland and he will be missed for a long time to come, she said. Now, the thing about this is, one of the persons that sent me the voice note said, So Flo, listen, man, don't go to that doctor there because it is no shock okay the only people that are gonna pretend to be shocked are 
certain people. He's a very kind guy. If he's good with you, you, you can get anything from him. He's kind. He's a loving person. But it is well known. It's the talk. So we weren't shocked that that happened in that way. Right? Now, us sitting on the outside are thinking political leader slash medical practitioner, doctor, a practicing doctor. Hmm. How could this happen? So this wasn't no random killing. This is what I'm trying to tell you, right? And all fingers are pointing to a gay lifestyle, a homosexual uh, fight, something took place. And I remember I know one time Muta Baruka did I say, and I've said this on videos before. I don't know if Muta want me to call up his name again. I'm going to stop doing it, but... <laughs> I'm just drawing from here and there just to make a point though where he said lad um, if, if you ever see them fight them thing domestic fight between man and woman like man a beat up woman or woman a scratch up man face and you, you think them kind of fight they're off wait till you see the homosexual them fight them stab up and chop up each other and I saw a video somebody sent me where that like them stab each other for fun in the video it's like they were arguing and one stab one of them you know like really stabbed him with one big old knife and the man take off running and the other one say you stab me me go stab your back like getting stabbed was nothing and and i'm not trying to say that this is normal of the lifestyle i'm just trying to say like when two men get involved me, me can't speak pun being romantically involved but i could just imagine uh the kind of rage that can come from that plus strength like a man's strength you ever hear them tell women say um well when i was growing up my grandfather always said a woman's strength is in her mouth a man's strength is in his arms so don't let her mouth um, drive you to where you have to put hands upon her because you're you, you're going to damage her she can't fight you like a man even though you have some women out there who swear they could fight you like a man. But they can't. Because if you really connect one time, broke off our face. Right? It's the same thing. Now you have two men emotionally invested to the point where it romantically involved or whatever. It could have been that. Or they're saying that it could have been even if it was a hit. A political hit. So somebody wanted him out in the political sphere. Or he said something, saw something, did something he wasn't supposed to do, and them say, a time for you go. They're saying that what they did was they used his vice, his weakness, and his weakness was boys. Let me close by saying this. The last voice note I got, the person said this. Not only did he say, no, guys don't go to that man as a doctor, because I just, and mostly women go to him, and mostly elderly women go to him mid-age to older women go to him if though if you have guys that go to him some of them guys there you know what i'm saying but it's and it is the talk he said what he would do I, I let all this is allegedly everything in this video is allegedly what he would do was he would prey upon the young guys in the community that didn't have things them need shoes, them need school uniform, them need like a pocket money, them need transportation money, them now have no food at the house, all kind of something like that. He would prey upon those. He would give them a little thing here and there and lure them in and these kinds of things. So I don't know if you want to say he was predatory, but like the brother said in the voice note that I got that he asked me not to play it, he said the man never hold down nobody. We don't hear no story of him holding down and taking anything from anybody. So it was always voluntary with whoever he got involved with. But yes, everybody knows in Portland that that doctor was. So we're going to leave it at that for now and see where it goes. It's so Flow TV, man. Before you get all emotionally invested, so I leave the man, make him rest in peace and all this. No, we're trying to get to the bottom of it. Just like how we did with um, Karen the girl the british girl that came back to jamaica to build her dream home and people were like oh returning residents are being attacked and killed at random and then we get to find out say this woman did have like three man a lover a spender and a, a, a walker man 
and all kind of things that are going on there and this is what led to that till it was one of them that who she was involved with actually caused her demise so we have to stop talking about stop talking about it make people rest in peace no me want know as the story unfolds and so far it has gotten to this point now and i will keep my eye on it for you it's so flow tv man like comment share subscribe leave your comment in the comment section below and have a wonderful day oh and look out for the merchandise because they will be back up on the channel pretty soon all right i'm out peace